gente, olha só que coisa interessante. O cara pegou um peixe congelado. Olha só, o cara botou o peixe dentro de uma bacia de alumínio. Olha só, já tem um peixe lá dentro, já tem um primeiro peixe lá, ó. E tá vivo. Será que esse segundo peixe aí ele vai voltar a viver? Ele vai voltar à vida? Caramba! Bom, eu acho que essa bacia deve estar com água bem quentinha, né? Com água morna, não sei, para poder fazer efeito nesse peixe aí, né? Até porque ele pegou esse peixe dentro desse, de dentro desse recipiente aí, não sei o que, que é, não sei se é uma geladeira ou uma espécie de freezer. Caramba! Será que esse peixe vai voltar a viver? Será que aquele primeiro que estava lá dentro estava congelado também? Nossa! Bom, vamos esperar, né? Vamos ver o que vai dar. Esse japonês inventa cada coisa. Caramba, pessoal, olha só. Será que é possível Oi. fazer isso com seres Sim, humanos? Congelar e depois voltar à vida? Comenta aqui nos comentários para ver o que vocês acham. Comenta aí. Quero ver a opinião de vocês também. Olha só, gente. Olha só, olha só. Barbatana, gente. Aqui é barbatana. Tá me... Olha, gente, o peixe tá mexendo. Caramba. Rapaz, não é que o peixe voltou a viver mesmo. Vixe. Olha só, será que isso funciona com outros animais ou só com peixe mesmo? Caramba, gente. Olha aí, tá vendo? O cara pegou o peixe congelado dentro daquele freezer lá, ó. Tava pedrificado e agora o peixe tá vivendo. Olha que tá ali, ó, dentro da bacia com água. Como que isso é possível, gente? Caraca. In case you didn't hear, the source of the next pandemic was just announced by Harvard and NYU. The timing seems a little too coincidental with the release of lab-grown meat. I'm going to tell you what they said and you decide what it all means. They said that the source of the next pandemic is going to be the United States meat supply, our livestock. And by the way, here's their solution. They said in order to prevent it, we need to limit human contact with livestock and even our pets. And they said we need to increase vaccination numbers numbers in our livestock. Are we thankful for these academics or is there something else we should be feeling? This is how sunglasses were developed. Grey eye covering. That's a grey alien. This is a grey alien. It's considered as a covering. Oh, on the eye. Oh. Elephant man, or how do you think that is? That's fucking creepy. Hey, the end of the world is coming. I'm telling you, bro. Wait a Halo second. Sent me the storm On my phone, look. You can see a black dot up there. What the fuck? Not really the end of the world. Maybe. What the hell? Dude, that's a UFO. Dude. It just disappeared. It just disappeared. What? Oklahoma. The Oklahoma. I don't. A lot of things. Have been... What? What? Dog, get out of there! What is happening? Where did the fire come from? What? Some cast players on. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of really strange viral videos of birds somewhat glitching, starting with this one coming in from Italy. Check this out. Where am I? 
Vean este pájaro, no se mueve, lo estoy viendo yo, está suspendido en el aire. ¿Qué es esto, por favor? Que alguien me explique, que alguien me explique qué es este pájaro que está suspendido en el aire, véanlo. ¿Qué es esto, por favor? Goddamn tree over there, look, there's a dinosaur back there. I saw a head. I swear. There's a dinosaur in that building, it's trying to get out. Uh, but there's a tree blocking, I can only see the head. I saw like a mouth like this. I think it's some kind of Tyrannosaurus. Oh, look, look, there it is, there it is. Uh, Where is it at? I saw the top of the head right something. there. I swear. Yeah, look, look, you hear it's trying to get out. Uh, Oh shit! It's a whole Tyrannosaurus. See? Look, there's a head right there. Yeah, oh, maybe it's dang. a giraffe or something. Oh, let me zoom in. Oh, look, there's a head. There's a head right there. Look. Maybe it may not be look. possible to do I told you. Yet, but now it's hiding behind that tree, but it's trying to get out. I've been telling everybody that there's a big Make dinosaur a locked up in that building clone, but for still, years. I've lived here for two out. years. I hear the noises at night, and finally, I think it broke the shackles. And it's trying to get out of that building. Y'all saw it shake, right? I know I ain't the only one. Boy, get inside. I, I want to tell you guys the big enchilada. Okay, please, the big enchilada. So I need to know. I need to know. What do you know about aliens? And how are aliens real? All right, let, this is really big. So okay. Um, yeah, pour another shot of that. The media, Let's get this out uh, properly. You know. All right, let me give you my best, uh, please. Deep, deep research approximation once again. What do you think is going? But uh, am I uh, wrong to still hold out hope that aliens are real? Because I tell you, as one, the two guilty pleasures that I still cling to is Bigfoot and aliens. Those are two. Bigfoot, not so much. I wish it was real, but I just don't. Think are you it ready? Is. Yes. Bigfoot's real. No. Come on, Daddy. No. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. I'm going to give you the big enchilada. Joe, there yes. are aliens in this room right now. For real? Yeah, you're not of this world, bro. Me? You're the alien. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Well, here's what the elite believe. And mm. let me be very clear because the media will take this out of context. I only go with what I can prove. Oh, and, thank you. And people can't even handle that. There's armies. We're fighting a pedophile conspiracy. But beyond that, it's a vampire conspiracy in that they are interdimensionally sucking the essence of our youth. Right. And they believe they're possessed by an off-world entity. They do? Yeah, and then, Joe, I've been on air 22 years. I don't get into aliens, metaphysical, religion, any of that. I've studied the elite, and I've also communicated with a lot of the top people. And, and, and if you want to know, I will actually break down right now the best knowledge right now of what's happening on the planet. What's happening? The elite are all about transcendence and living forever and the secrets of the universe, and they want to know all this. Some are good, some are bad, some are a mix. But the good ones don't ever want to organize. The bad ones didn't want to organize because they lost after power. Powerful uh, consciousnesses don't want to dominate other people. They want to empower them so they don't tend to get together until things are really late in the game. Then they come together. Evil's always defeated because good is so much stronger. And we're on this planet, and Einstein's physics showed it, Max Planck's physics showed it, all oh, there's at least 12 dimensions. And now that's why all the top scientists and billionaires are coming out saying it's a false hologram. It is artificial the computers are scanning it and finding tension points where it's artificially projected and gravity's bleeding in to this universe that's what they call dark matter so we're like a thought or a dream that's a wisp in some computer program some god's mind whatever they're proving it all it's all coming out now there's like this sub transmission zone below the third dimension that's just turned over to the most horrible things is what it resonates to. And it's trying to get up into the third dimension that's just a basic level consciousness to launch into the next levels. And our species is already way up in the fifth, sixth dimension, consciously our best people. But there's this big war trying to like basically destroy humanity because humanity has free will and there's a decision to which level we want to go to. We have free will, so evil's allowed to come and contend and not just good. And the elites themselves believe they're racing 
using human technology to try to take our best minds and build some type of breakaway civilization where they're going to merge with machines, transcend, and break away from the failed species that is man, which is kind of like a false transmission because they're thinking what they are is ugly and bad, projecting it onto themselves instead of believing, no, it's a human test about building us up. And so Google was set up. 18, 19 years ago, this was, I knew about this before it was declassified, I'm just saying I have good sources, that they wanted to build a giant artificial system, and Google believes that the first artificial intelligence will be a supercomputer based on the neuron activities of the hive mind of humanity with billions of people wired into it with the Holy internet of shit. things and so all of our thoughts go into it and we're actually building a computer that has real neurons in real time that's also psychically connected to us that are organic creatures so that they will have current prediction powers future prediction powers a true crystal ball but the big secret is, once you have a crystal ball and know the future, you can add stimuli beforehand and make decisions that control the future. And so then it's the end of consciousness and free will for individuals, as we know, and a true 2.0 in a very bad way, hive mind consciousness with an AI jacked into everyone, knowing our hopes and dreams, delivering it to us, not in some PKD wirehead system where we plug in and give up on consciousness because of unlimited pleasure, but because we were already wired in and absorbed before we knew it by giving over our consciousness to the system by our daily decisions that it was able to manipulate and control into a larger system. There's now a human counter-strike taking place to shut this off before it gets fully into place and to block these systems and to try to have an actual debate about where humanity goes and cut off the pedophiles and psychic vampires that are in control of this AI system before humanity is destroyed. Of AI? How well, get, how'd the pedophiles get in control of well, AI? Well, the, pe the pedophiles at a, at a whatever level. They rule. The devil, whatever you want to call it, this interdimensional thing that gives them advanced off-world technology, the fallen one that's not of this world, is giving them advanced knowledge what? What on how to talking? construct no, no. these what systems is, what is that, that have already been used before on other populations. What? Is that Satan? But what are you what are that's you talking Satan. about? That's Satan. Whoa, that guy was re spitting real sense. If you find it hard to follow, watch again. Hello, my name is Alfred Bielik, more commonly known as Al Bielik. Original family name is Edward Cameron. I have been involved in the Philadelphia Experiment, the Montauk Project, Time Travel, Alien Connections, the Montauk Project, and some other projects, all of which have been secret over the years, most of which have never been declassified. I wound up in the 20th century, and this was in a time period of uh, 2749 to 2751 AD. Talk about changes in civilization, society, and everything else. It was drastically changed when it was so in 2137. This is now 600 years later. The cities were enormous. The cities were beautiful. They had ground-based cities, much as we have always had them. But they also had something else, floating cities. Floating cities, due to anti-gravity, techniques being perfected sufficiently that they could float an entire city, which is perhaps not as large as any of our current cities. I was round to a very nearly round. But it floated on this platform and they could move the city any place they wanted, remaining floating in the air, four or five thousand feet above the ground perhaps, or a little less, depending on what they wanted. But the size of the city was vertical, rather than horizontal, 2,200 stories high. That's about two and a half miles. The cities could move anywhere on the planet. Basically, they stayed hovering and floating. If they didn't like a particular location, they moved somewhere else. There wasn't that much traffic in moving cities, I can assure you, because the world population in that era, the 28th century, was only 500 million. And I was instructed later that that was where they had held it for centuries. There would be no more than approximately 500 million population. Some of the features of this, let's, let's start from the political standpoint. As I learned, all of these cities, whether they're ground-based cities, which the majority were, was they had to do manufacturing, they had to have agriculture and various other things to supply the needs of civilization. But all of them, whether floating or ground-based, were rather interesting in their governmental form. They had essentially no government. There's no government as we know it today. There was no money, there's no banks, there's no political jurisdictions, and there was end up resulted a resolve down to what would be best called a city-state structure, where the city is a state, and any other cities 
of from that one are independent and operate in their own independent manner. So that was the major change there. There was no elected government. There was no appointed government. There was no government as we had ever seen in the past. As I found out, each city was meant to run by an intelligent computer, synthetic intelligence, synthetic consciousness, a highly radioactive crystalline structure. Who built them? I had no idea. Nobody seemed to know, but they've been there for hundreds of years. And this computer ran the entire city. There were guidelines set down. That is the future of humanity as per that guy. It's just going to be crazy. You can't imagine. Thanks for watching up to this far. It has been a pleasure. Like, watch, share these videos with the close ones, the loved ones, friends, family, everyone. Yo, thanks. Keep it tuned for more. And you can also watch this episode here of our previous videos. Yeah.